Hello everybody, I'm Z Duke, and welcome back to Let's Play Halo. So in the last part, we fought our way through a couple levels of the library, and made it to the fourth and final floor of the facility. So, in this episode, I hope I'll be ending the level. Oh man, that skin might be slightly no res, but I still think it's awesome. Old games, but good games. And that's a good motto, if you know. I wish these were, like, explosive plasma things you could throw out, but they're not. So... As usual, right back into the thick of things, blasting zombies with our shotgun, taking his ammo. That guy just died from fall damage. Don't get up. So, oh no, it's busted. Back into the tunnels with us. Best. But watch, look, pays no attention to us. So, yeah, he's insane. I was, uh, reading a book yesterday. <clears throat> Halo, The Flood, by... Some guy whose name I don't remember. Um, but anyway, it was practically quoting the episode that I had recorded earlier that day. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. Because, <clears throat> as you probably know by now, I am a massive Halo nerd. I mean, why would I be playing a game made in 2001, I think, if I weren't a massive nerd about that series? Here, buddy. You know what I do to zombies, don't you? Boom! You know what I do to ass bags with rapid fire pistols, don't, I, don't you? Boom! Boom! <clears throat> Alright. Trying to make sure I don't slip into a higher register. That would be terribly embarrassing on camera. Open the damn door! Look, look at him. Why do you care so little for your... Oh, no, wait, he hasn't called us that yet. But there are little messages he'll talk to you when you die. How do I hit the guy farther away and not the guy close up? Uh, glitchy physics, but if you want to know something cool, every pellet that gets fired from the shotgun is a physics object. So they're tracking, like... So... Like, I'm really glad I have this amazing computer, because they're tracking so many particles, so many physics objects at a time. Uh, look at that! The floods are already part of preparing your vessel. It's parasitic nature. We the intelligence. Well, isn't that wonderful? I'm not sure you could hear that so well. Anyway, he says, they're repairing the pillar of autumn. The flood is repairing the pillar of autumn. Because they're smarter than they look, even though they're a parasite. Open the door, buddy. Thank you. Oh, crap. Two minutes ago, I thought it locked. Oh, crap. So bad. So bad. So bad. Oh, but I've almost finished the level. Oh, man. If I knew the end of the level was right here. Four minutes. That would have made the last episode 20 minutes instead of 16 minutes. I'm really sorry. I'm really bad at math while I'm playing video games, but that's because I'm getting shot and blown up and bad things. Run! 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 Eat shit, zombies! <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> back to the game, back to the game. Don't get up! You get in a face full of shotgun, and you too! Run! Alright, so big penultimate laser beam. Obviously, we're running towards it. Fill him full of lead! Fill him full of lead! Sorry! On the ground! On the ground! So the massive elevator goes The energy down. barrier surrounding the index will deactivate when we reach the ground floor. Okay. Epic. 
battle that was supposed to be the boss room, but we pretty much bypassed it because you don't really need to fight all those enemies. You just gotta run to the field and you may not catch you. The index. I love how his model has an assault rifle even though we're not carrying one. Pick it up, Master Chief. Oh, dude. Protocol requires that I take possession of the index for transport. Your organic form renders you vulnerable to infection. The index must not fall into the hands of the flood before we reach the control room and activate the installation. The flood is spreading. We must hurry. Oh, great. How wonderful. Teleport time. The control. Which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential factor. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Splendid, shall we? Oh, this cutscene gets funny soon. But yeah, this game is awesome. Unfortunately, my usefulness to this particular endeavor has come to an end. Protocol does not allow units with my classification to perform a task as important as the reunification of the index with the core. I just realized his hum is the hand. That final step is reserved for you, Reclaimer. There, he called us Reclaimer. Rookie. Oh, boy, Cortana is angry. What do you do, Chief? I've spent the last 12 <coughs> hours cooped up in here watching you toady about helping that thing get set to slit our throats. Hold on now. He's a friend. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal, is he? Your chum? Do you have any idea what that bastard almost made you do? Yes. Activate Halo's defenses and destroy the Flood, which is why we brought the Index to the Control Center. You mean this? A construct in the core? That is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off! What impertinence! I shall purge you at once! You sure that's a good idea? How? How? How dare you? Oh! Do what? I have the index. You can just float and sputter. Enough! The flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill Flood. It kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We are all equally edible. The only way to stop the Flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? Ask him. Is it true? More or less. Technically, this installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. But you already knew that. I mean, how couldn't you? Left out that little detail, did he? We have followed outbreak containment procedure to the letter. You were with me each step of the way as we managed this crisis. Chief, I'm picking up movement. Why would you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go right now. Last time you asked me if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your query, my answer has not changed. There is no choice. We must activate the ring. Get us out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me, or I will be forced to take it from you. That's not going to happen. So be it. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. Saving his head. Look out! Little bastard. Alright, so. Training time. A charged plasma burst is a one-hit kill to a sentinel. 
you didn't get to see it very oh, and apparently it's homing. You didn't get to see it very well in the library because we didn't fire on them. But they have a serious frontal shield that's more powerful than even our shields. Yeah! And so, you can't get past that frontal shield. I, uh, the official strategy guide recommends the shotgun, which we have as our secondary weapon. But I do not. I recommend plasma weapons, because they are anti-shield. I mean, look at that. The gun pointed at the head of the universe. So. We can't let the monitor activate Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. According to my analysis of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring, and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. A starship's fusion reactors going critical would do the job. Alright, so back there... You... I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant battle net and see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. So that's Cortana's plan. Um, and back here, you can explore the control room, which you could not do when we first got there, if you'd like. But it would be more pertinent to just come in here and kick these guys' ass. I recommend swapping the plasma pistol for a plasma rifle. You don't have to, but I prefer it because it's rapid fire. And you don't have to wait so long behind cover before attacking sentinels. You can just jump out and chain gun the bastards. Ow. Let's see. Crap. So I'm going to need to find me some more ammo. And unfortunately, I'll... I've got three minutes left. I'll keep going. So, I should get behind this cover. No, I don't want to use this. Oh. Okay, that was not much of an improvement. Alright, so it looks like the Banshee we left here is gone. The place we haven't place. located the crash site yet, but we need to buy some time in case the Monitor or his Sentinels find a way to activate Halo's final weapon without the Index. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow it to fire deep into space. The power levels are enormous. I can't even begin to calculate the pulse's range. So, if we damage or destroy these generators, the monitor will need to repair them before Halo can be used. That should buy us some time. I'm marking the location of the nearest pulse generator with a nav point. We need to move in and neutralize the device. So that's what the nav point is. Cortana talks a little bit more frequently now, so I'm going to have less time to do commentary. Up there, if there is a weapons cache, I didn't take the sniper rifle because I've got a plasma rifle. So, yeah. Uh, Cortana will explain. I could explain better, but I'd rather let the game do it. Because if I didn't... Well, I mean... Eat lead. Alright, so there is a somewhat hectic battle down the slopes of this pyramid. Are any of these more powerful? Alright, good, this one has more charge. I'm not sure if we can find one on full charge, because I hadn't invented weapon crates back then. They were just closed crates and radio crates. You don't throw grenades at me, buddy. So...
so. Wait, we should commandeer one of those banshees. That's we'll exactly need it to what reach you're the pulse generator do. in time. So, I recommend running for this one because it's close enough to be of use. So just just run, and uh, you can hold the jump button down. Uh, get in the ship. Okay. Momentary sprite at the gameplay help screen, which we already know. Good. Let's get moving. The nav point marks our target. And of course, there's epic music playing. So the canyon dogfight and other battles. I suppose we'll have to wait until the next episode. So I'm gonna pause it here so I don't get owned. And we'll see you all. In the next one, thank you so much for watching.